Hi everyone. Uh, today I will continue the same topic as of FTP function card, and today we'll focus on the node rate uh, web dashboard. So you already know uh, that the default IP address of this uh, tool, uh, RJ45 port is a uh, 192.168.1.5, and we already changed uh, this function card uh, to 0.1.6. So what we need to do about the node rate editor is actually access with uh, admin for both uh, user and password and after that we can find the node rate and click the editor so if you want to access then we just uh, click uh, open node rate editor windows and today's example I will show you a random chart and then uh, we will read the value of uh, spatial register 396 so you can see this is the address so for SR0 that would be mapped to 49152 so we plus 396 will equal to this value and set the quantity to 1 and we will show this uh, value in gauge okay so this is what we need to edit so at beginning we will use the inject node uh, means uh, this one time step and then we will select this one uh, inject uh, once uh, after then uh, here every one second okay next here we will create the random value and show in the chart so here we will uh, create a variable we call the rent value then a rent value will equal to max uh, means a random and here we'll use the uh, message the payroll uh, equal to random value then return the message and regarding the chart uh, here we can use a, a label we assign a random chart then here we use a line chart and you can define the axis either in a minutes or hour and second function would be uh, we use the MOBUS uh, to read the spatial register 396 then here we use the MOBUS flex uh, getter and then we show engage so this is the function we use the function call 3 and this is the MOBUS address we talk about then we will read only one and then the message payroll like this for the mobile split uh, getter so here we select s300 then uh, you click here then you will see the s300 tcp then this is the default host ip address and the port number so we just remain this as the same then we add on another gauge okay so eventually uh, we go back to the chrome then click the dashboard so you will see that this so this is what we add down and rest portion is the default page so here just an example so uh, if you want to read uh, several uh, VSD then you can use uh, this function map to certain address then uh, use either the line the chart or the gauge to show the speed okay now we will log in so both user and the password is uh, admin then we click login then uh, you'll find the role and click editor so you will see here will be the device uh, and the corresponding mobile address and which kind of function call is support then we can click here so you will see this is the default one and then we can go back and click dashboard to check so you will see this is the default uh, dashboard for the ASFTP function card then we will back to the editor okay and add down the function so first one as I mentioned we will use the inject uh, time step so here we can just use this one and click down oh sorry repeat every one second and click down okay and next we will find the function okay so here we will click uh, two function so first one uh, I will copy from here we call this one the random so this is the function inside so we just uh, copy 
so you can define the name range. okay then uh, click down and the second one will be the read uh, spatial register 396 so we also copy from here and then go back okay so we can copy and paste so here use a function code 3 this is the mobile address of spatial register and then the quantity regarding the message payload uh, you will use the value or message payload function call uh, unit ID address and quantity then we can click OK and then we will add down the chart in the dash from dashboard so here we select the chart okay in here and double click inside to check so here we just set uh, in one minute so you can as i mentioned you can select different uh, time scale one second uh, hour day or week then here we select a minute first and here you can see we can uh, put uh, this one in uh, different uh, group so here we will select the status so we and click down okay then we can link uh, this and next uh, we will link uh, the special register 396 and use the uh, mobile flex uh, getter sorry up here then double click so this is uh, what I mentioned we click here and just uh, everything keep default then click update and done and the last one we will find the gauge so we scroll down to find the gauge then uh, link here and because a uh, spatial register 396 uh, is actually from uh, 0 to 59 so we define this then uh, click OK uh, after that we can uh, click uh, deploy to apply the settings so once it's uh, successfully deployed you will show the message then we can go back here and click uh, dashboard okay so you will see now this is the uh, random chart and then this is the gauge so from here you can also check the CPU uh, scan time and the uh, uh, network loading and anyway you can uh, customize the dashboard based on your uh, inquiry so example as I mentioned if you have uh, several uh, inverter and you want to check the uh, frequency then you can uh, use a uh, no red to get uh, all this information and show on the dashboard okay so that's all for this topic uh, thank you